Hey everybody, uh, so I just wanted to do something a little bit different today and share a little bit of an anecdote with you uh, about a debugging experience that I had recently. So this is a bit different to the videos I normally do, but I do have a couple points I want to make at the end, so uh, if I'm rambling a bit, uh, please bear with me. Uh, so basically I was working with one of my consulting clients and they were trying to uh, do something with the Snap-A-Day code from uh, my Ionic book. And basically that application allows you to take a photo, share it to Facebook, that kind of thing. And what they told me was that when they were trying to share the photo to Facebook, the app uh, was crashing or the sharing was crashing. Uh, so at first I didn't really, I wasn't aware of an issue like this. Uh, obviously I tested the code myself before and it's, uh, it's worked. Uh, but you know, things change and I thought perhaps maybe there's some issue uh, in the social sharing plugin or maybe there's an issue with capacitor that's uh, recent. Uh, so to start digging into the issue, I tried to run the uh, application myself on an iPhone 5 device that I use for testing usually. And so I ran that uh, snap -a day code on there, tried to take a photo and share it to Facebook uh, and it worked for me. And so then we're sort of in that territory of well, trying to figure out what's going on. Is it some environment issue um, just on the client's end? Is there some uh, issue that you know we just don't really know what it is at this point? Uh, so we started talking back and forth a bit and I got some more details on the issue and they told me that uh, it was happening on their iPhone uh, 10R or XR, however you say that, uh, device and also on their iPhone 7. And what was weirder is that not only was it crashing the social sharing plugin or it was crashing when they were trying to share the photo, it would only happen when taking a photo with the rear facing camera. Uh, the front facing camera was fine and that was happening on both of their devices. And so at that point I was like, okay, now we're in really weird bug territory there. I had no idea what might be causing uh, the front camera to not work uh, when the, or rather the rear facing camera to work when the front facing camera doesn't. And so the next step in the process we took was uh, I managed to get my hands on an iPhone 7, which is the same device that the client was using to test where they were uh, experiencing that issue. And so my wife has an iPhone 7, so I took that and I tried uh, the application out again. And somewhat to my surprise, I was actually able to replicate the issue. I could take a photo from the front facing camera and share it to Facebook, uh, but trying to take a photo with the rear facing camera uh, didn't work. And so I can actually show you what uh, happened with that. So I've got the device on me now. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I've got the uh, code up in Xcode here, this is uh, the Ionic application, uh, it's using Capacitor, and so I've uh, copied the web code over to the native project, and I'm going to run this on the native device. So I'm just going to install that now by clicking the, the play button there, we'll just wait for that to build. Okay, so the application's up on the phone now. And as we're doing this, keep in mind the uh, the console output down here. This is uh, all the debugging messages from Xcode. And this is ultimately what led to figuring out what the issue is. Um, so as well as uh, you may be used to using the uh, like Chrome debugging tools, looking in the console for JavaScript errors, uh, you can also find uh, errors in here as well that can help you uh, debug issues. So that's definitely something to keep an eye on if you're stuck on something. So what I'm gonna do here is just take a photo, or we'll go through the process of taking a photo and attempting to share that to Facebook. And uh, so I'm going to click the uh, tap here button to launch the photo viewer. As you can see, some stuff's already popping up. I will say okay to accessing the camera. And I'm just gonna take a photo of my table here because I don't really, oh, apparently that activated Google Assistant. Anyway, uh, I'm just gonna take a photo of the desk because my office is messy. So I'll click the photo button, uh, use photo. And then so in this application, once you take a photo, it gives you the option to share it. And so you can see some more stuff popping up in the console there related to taking the photo. Uh, if I click share now, the share options will pop up. I'll choose Facebook. And then you can see that the app just crashes or rather the, the sharing plugin just crashes without me actually uh, being able to finish sharing. It displays for a little bit, then it just disappears. 
And if you look in the uh, code down here, you can see an error related to that. Now, unfortunately, the error wasn't uh, particularly helpful. Uh, if we just read through that, uh, you can see here it says, uh, SL remote compose view controller, uh, view service did terminate with error, error domain equals UI view service interface, error domain code equals three, uh, connection interrupted. Uh, there's nothing really obvious here that explains uh, what happened. And uh, probably most of us who are using Ionic applications won't be super familiar um, with uh, native errors. So this wasn't setting off any alarm bells for me right away. I was, this didn't suddenly you know, clear things up. Uh, but anyway, this was clearly the error that was uh, happening when the problem occurred. So it was a good uh, place to start. Uh, so I started searching around, just Googling this error. And then I came across something that mentioned that uh, the uh, the sharing interfaces uh, only allow the use of a certain amount of memory. And then it sort of started, uh, I guess, I, did, I wasn't 100% sure that that was the issue, but then um, it started to make sense. So if you could only use a certain amount of memory when using that sharing interface, uh, it would make sense that the rear camera would not work whilst the front facing camera did because the rear facing camera would take higher quality photos than the front facing camera. And it would also make sense that uh, it worked on my iPhone 5 because both those cameras uh, aren't as high quality and they're going to be taking smaller photos and so memory wouldn't be as much of an issue. And so ultimately what the solution for this was, and it was quite simple, is that uh, originally the code just used the default sort of values, used a quality of 100 for the photo. Uh, if I just modified that to uh, a lower quality value, I just uh, made the image a bit smaller and the end result here was that rather than taking photos that were about uh, two megabytes in size, uh, by making them a bit smaller, it was only about 13 kilobytes. And after making uh, this change and running the code again, uh, it actually worked. And so the two main points I thought were interesting from this uh, experience, and I've talked a bit about this before, and that's, I guess, the idea of uh, taking responsibility for the code or assuming responsibility uh, it would have been very easy in, in this circumstance to just assume that it's a uh, capacitor's problem or it is the social sharing plugins problem, uh, maybe open up an issue on those repos, uh, which is, you know, it's a fine thing to do. If you don't know uh, how to solve an issue, you can, of course, open issues, um, you know, create forum posts, ask for help, that kind of thing. Uh, but if you can sort of even just take a few steps by yourself, start digging around a bit, even if you don't think you're going to be able to solve the issue, uh, it is worth just seeing what you can find, Googling around a bit, and you might find that you can actually uh, figure these things out and solve them. And the other point I thought was interesting from this is the uh, importance of testing on as many physical devices as you can. Uh, I have an iPhone 5 that I use for testing, and the reason I do that is because uh, it's a slightly older device and usually it's the older devices where you're going to run into problems. They're not as powerful, you know, they're just the hardware is just not as good. Uh, and so if there's a problem, you're probably going to run it, uh, run into it on an older device, not a newer device. Uh, but the interesting thing about this problem was that it was actually the newer, more powerful devices that caused the problem because they had better cameras. And so yeah, I just thought that was a particularly interesting uh, aspect of this little anecdote. Uh, anyway, I hope this little story was uh, was interesting or at least of some help uh, to you. Uh, if you like this sort of thing, uh, leave a like or a comment, let me know. Uh, I can probably do more videos like this uh, in the future where I talk about uh, just you know, random experiences or bugs that I've uh, been through whilst developing Ionic applications or uh, other applications as well. Uh, so yeah, just uh, let me know. Okay, thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.